So I recently got a message from our new subscriber. Thank you very much for writing this message. So I'm going to show you how to do a two color print on the same layer on Creality Print, Creality 5, whatever it's called. So this is the print that I'm going to do. It's sort of like a plaque for my car. Um, I'm going to open up Creality Print and the file is already done. All you have to do is just draw the file. So this is the file. This is how it's going to look. Actually, it's gonna look like this, guys. It's gonna have like this green color here, the filament. It's just gonna look like this. So now, since I'm gonna do a two color print, I'm gonna show you guys in the colors that I'm gonna be printed in. So it will be more helpful for you guys to see it. So uh, the base is supposed to be black, so I'm gonna use a black carbon, carbon fiber PET G. I'm gonna print it on the Ender 3KE. And I am gonna add another filament, which is gonna be white, white PET G. And you go to here, color. After you add it, you go to color. So you gotta hit the bucket tool and you gotta make sure that this is on the second color. This is the color you're gonna be using for filling the bucket, the fill tool. So if you guys can see, that's the logo for the plate. So you just go around and just click and fill. I think this is the easiest way to do uh, the coloring is to do the bucket tool. Um, it takes a little bit of time to get used to using this thing But this is the, the easiest way to do it and you can't really mess it up that bad um, This is my first time doing this print so I'm gonna be doing this live for you guys, so It's gonna be a long video so guys Sit in there Get yourself a snack or a drink. It's gonna be one of those videos all right, guys, so now that I filled in what I want to be the, the different color, I'm going to hit slice. Okay, guys, so this is what you get when you're doing Creality 5. If you don't have um, a K2+, Plus, which is already for the, the multicolor material, and guys, mind you, they're going to make all the K1 series multicolor, so they're going to sell the unit separately. The multi, uh, the, they call it CFS, the Creality Filament System. Um, but it, you know how it is. It's, it's AMS system, similar to the Bamboo Labs. So they're going to make that like available for people to buy if you have a K series, a K1 series. I think it's going to happen next year. Um, they want to sell. I'm, I'm, I'm assuming they're going to. They want to sell more K2 pluses before they release this to other units. Um, but yeah, so. Once they release that, anyone can do this, guys. But right now, I'm using this on my KE, which typically is not for multicolor. I am going to be doing the multicolor manually, guys. Um, so when you go here, do not go uh, print plate. When you go to print plate, it gives you this nonsense. It, your printer is not is not suitable for this multicolor. I know that. You know, I know it's not a multicolor machine or multi-material machine. So what you guys want to do is go here on this arrow and go to export plate guys so you go to the export plate guys and it's going to generate the g-code for you guys so pretty much that's the way around it i'm going to put this on my usb guys because i don't have it um connected to the wi-fi yet and i don't know i don't I, i'm used to using the usb so my usb is this one drive d so i'm going to save it yeah, so right there, guys, I saved it. So in, as you guys can see it, it's on my USB. So I'm gonna go to the PC and then I'm just gonna e eject. For some reason, uh, Creality doesn't have the option for you to eject from the slicer. And I think it's because they wanted to make it inconvenient for you to use the USB. They want you to use their Creality print. Um, this thing here, the cloud, they want you to create a, um, a username and, and um, give them your phone number and your email address and your contact list I don't know it's just really like annoying that, that you can't just use it like uh, orca slicer you can just print Wi-Fi you don't need um, to create a profile or anything like that so remember guys you go here export play all right guys all right so I'll see you guys in the printer as you guys can see the model is printing there is no issue with it I do see that it shows zero hours to zero minutes to print um, and it's pretty smart because I don't think uh, the printer knows when it's going to be finished because there's going to be some filament changes or filament swap so they're not um, 
giving you an actual estimate you could see the actual model on there guys if you can see it i'm gonna try to zoom in for you guys so you can see the model and you can see the printer printing so Here I'm extruding 150 millimeters of filament just to get a crispy color to go on top and then I'm wiping the nozzle and rinse and repeat guys just do this a few times depending on how detailed your model is and yes I'll show you guys the final model right now. What do you guys think? You guys like this version where it's two colors in the same layer or the one that I'm gonna show you guys right now. This one has one color in the bottom and then a higher color in the top. You see how the letters are raised. I believe that the first one with the two colors in one layer is gonna last longer. Um, but guys, let me know if you liked the video. Subscribe. See you on the next one.